so I want to talk uh, about raising money. I remember the first time that I had to raise money was for my flips. I had to raise about 15K and I was scared. I'm like, man, how am I gonna raise $15,000? That's a lot of money, who am I gonna ask? You know, my credibility, you know, I mean, I just got started. I mean, all this negative thoughts, right, went in your mind. Number one is get rid of all those thoughts, right? You know, make sure that, you know, people look at you and they, they see like positivity, right, confidence. For me, it was really hard to ask people for money. That's my personality. I don't like to ask for help. Not really the best thing, right? You're always going to need people to help you in this world. So I had to change that. You know, I always wanted to do stuff on my own. But I needed to raise the money. So, you know, first thing I did was tell everybody that I was doing real estate. At the church, you know, at the, my friends, my family, um, everywhere I went. You know, hey, guys, I'm flipping houses. Hey, like, you know, people would ask you. You have a conversation, you meet somebody, and they're like, hey, how's work? What are you doing? Like, hey, look, I'm kind of like, you know, HGTV. You know how they, they flip the houses? Yeah, that's, that's what we're doing, right? And people are like, oh, yeah, I see those shows all the time. And you have a conversation. And uh, I would always ask, hey, you know, if you, you know anybody who's interested in making some good returns on uh, you know, real estate, you know, why don't you connect me, right? So that's how I pretty much started doing everything. You know, later on, I got a little bit better at it when I had to raise, uh, you know, a few hundred K or uh, a million plus or et cetera, right? I got a little bit better. You know, I would just meet somebody and I would say, hey, I'd be like, hey, hey, um, hey, Joe, hey, man, um, I look, I see him at an event and be like, hey, let me talk to you before you leave. I got to talk to you. Right. But I've already had a relationship with this guy. Right. I knew he had money or I know people that if somebody has money, they know people that have money. Money knows money. Or I knew he had money. He has some interest in investing or he's an investor in other in other areas. And I didn't want to ask him directly to give me money. Um, I would just say, hey, Joe, can can I see you before you leave? Right. I, I got I got a favor to ask. Yeah, I need, I need your help. So, you know, after the event, before he left, you catch up with Joe and you say, hey, Joe, look, I know you're well-liked, well-respected. If you know anybody out there, you know I'm in real estate. I got some great projects. If you know anybody out there who's complaining, bitching, griping about b getting bad returns or losing money in the market or et cetera, look, just I would love it if you connect me. I got a couple of projects coming up really, really good. And I would smile. And most of the time they would say, well, what do you got? Let me take a look at it. So, you know, if they ask me any questions, I can kind of be a little bit more inform informed. And then we sit down and, you know, not right there and then, maybe a quick overview of the project. But usually maybe over the phone, Zoom call, some coffee, meet with them, kind of show them. Um, I'm not a detailed guy, so I'm a big picture guy. I would just show them like boom, 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 big picture. And uh, just my personality. And then I go from there, right? Then they either say, hey, look, I want to put some money in it. What do you need, 50K, 20K, 100K? Or, you know, I'll know some people. It's not going to work every single time. But if you do it enough times, then you're going to have pretty good results, right? So I saw this um, thing on TV, right, where they had this guy um, dating, okay? Or they, they had him, they dressed him up like super good looking, you know, um, you know, next to a nice car, it's all trendy. And he sat there and he said, hey, for the next two hours, you need to ask, you know, every girl that passes by, they taught him how to talk to women. Say, hey, when this girl passes by, we're going to tell you in your ear, go talk to her. So as soon as she, she was walking by, they tell her, hey, um, go, go, go talk to the girl in the black, black jeans and white blouse. So he get up and he start talking to her for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. He just stop her in the middle of the street, right, and have a chat with her. So in two hours, he talked to about eight, eight girls. He got two dates, right? He had to ask every single one of them, hey, let's, let's, I would like to get to know you better. How about we get some coffee? Can I get your number? And that was it. And then the next day, they put him there just wearing a jeans and T-shirt, right? No car, no nothing. He didn't look as handsome as he did the previous day. And they told him, hey, look, we're, this time is going to be different, right? Yesterday, you talked to eight, eight, eight women. This time, you got two hours, but every woman you talk to, you have less than a minute to ask her on a date. Boom. So as soon as a, 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 a girl was coming... Boom, they say, talk to the girl in the red dress. Boom, he get down there. Within a minute, he had to ask her on a date. He did that so much. What, what do you think he got the most dates? Spending 20 minutes per person, you know, the previous day, or spending a minute on 100 possibilities, right? Well, I'll let you guys think about it for a second. Three, two, one. So he got more dates when he asked more people, right? Even though it was a one-minute conversation, super quick, to the point, uh, he got more dates, right? So same thing. The more people you tell, 
And investment, investing and, and having investors, it is a long-term uh, relationship. I have some investors now that I've talked to for two years, and they're finally um, investing in my projects, right? Sometimes they wanted to see what I was doing, make sure that, you know, um, the projects turned out great. Sometimes it was just bad timing, right? The capital was out, and then when it was in, I didn't have a project for many reasons, right? Um, they wanted to get to know me better, whatever. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of long-term uh, relationship with uh, investors and you got to court them for a while, but there's a lot of them out there that are going to be like, hey, I'm ready to roll right now, okay? So you got to ask everybody and, and anybody. Don't prejudge a single person, guys, in anything you do in life, about anything, about if they have money, you know, if they're educated, if they can help you out, it doesn't matter. You don't know what one door will open, will, what one door will lead to, right? Or what other door they're going to open, right? Etc. I'll give you another quick story. Um, many years ago, I picked somebody up from the airport. He got here from uh, Mexico, and I picked him up. I was waiting outside. He came out, picked him up, took him around town. A couple days later, my job to take him back, right? So I dropped him off, you know, in the front of the airport. I said goodbye, and then I left, right? I thought I did a pretty good job. So, and then he invited me to go to his hometown in Mexico. When I arrived, he was waiting for me at the gate. Okay, you know, took me to my hotel, picked me up in the morning, drove me everywhere. When it was time for me to leave, he dropped me off, walked me to the gate, and he told me, hey, this is how you serve people. Okay, and uh, that, was pretty, that was pretty impactful for me because I thought I did a good job by just dropping, him, dropping off at the front of the, of the terminal. Right? He walked me to the gate. This is a very important person, uh, well-known in the city, and uh, he took his time. Right? Um, he's, now he's now he passed away. A couple of years ago, but I always learned that lesson, right? I always go beyond, you know, um, I always have a servant heart, you know, I always go beyond just because, you know, it'll lead to good things. And don't always want something from somebody, right? You know, give some value. You never know what the, where they're going to connect you. Well, you can connect them. You can change somebody else's life. So there's my video on how to raise money. I don't know how I got to that last subject, but hopefully you guys enjoyed.